Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here, and I am traveling, uh, and uh, it's really hot weather, uh, so, uh, and I'm in the United States, but I've come to a little bistro, and I want to show you what I've ordered, so you have an idea of what I do when I uh, eat out. So let's go ahead and get started, because the first food started to arrive. This is white asparagus. It's a great source of dietary fiber. Uh, it's got some red on, uh, uh, it's got some red onions. It's got quercetin in it, and it's got some radicchio. Look at this red color. That tells you there's bioactives uh, in it. And it looks like there's probably some uh, chai, uh, maybe some endive. All right, these are uh, bitters, and I think this is a baby microgreen uh, of some sort. Probably could be spinach. Um, I can't tell exactly. I don't know what that is. And some chopped, um, uh, some chopped chives, which is alley and family. All right, simple, simple, simple uh, dish. Beautiful, delicious. It gives you dietary fiber. It gives you quercetin from the red onions. You get actually the isothiocyanates uh, from the uh, uh, the uh, radicchio uh, and, and the endive uh, as well. So we're talking about a really healthy uh, summer salad. And then I'm going to show you what I'm having after. I like to eat light lunches, but I'm going to show you what we're doing uh, after this. So check it out. Look at that. We are talking about oysters. Now, for those of you who are not uh, uh, familiar with oysters, uh, they're a shellfish. Uh, and a lot of people don't know this, but oysters actually contain healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So you don't need to only eat salmon in order to get it. Even oysters have it. So do clams, and squid, um, crab, shrimp all have some amount of omega-3 fatty acids, but oysters are really great. So when you get an oyster, you gotta make sure you get them from a reputable place. So most restaurants uh, would actually get them from a reputable place. Um, and you gotta eat them fresh, and you gotta make sure that they're uh, uh, prepared in ways that are sanitary uh, and are going to be good. And if you actually pay attention, um, to oyster warnings, shellfish oyster warnings like red tide or toxins in the water, marine algae uh, that are toxic, then stay away from oysters. For them. Nothing uh, like that here. I'm going to have some oysters with uh, lemon and uh, some mignonette sauce, which is vinegar. Vinegar has acetic acid, improves your metabolism. Uh, and uh, some um, uh, chopped uh, 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 shallots which is an allium that also has allicin, which is uh, good for your um, metabolism, helps fight harmful body fat as well. So I'm really? going to show you how to eat an oyster. I haven't eaten one before. Here it is, and here we go. So sometimes I'll randomly Sometimes I'll describe the flavor. Creamy, salty like the sea, because um, some of its own juice is there. And down in uh, just a couple of bites, really even one bite, absolutely delicious, good for your taste buds, and good for uh, getting some healthy omega-3 fatty acids. By the way, oyster flesh uh, also contains proteins that can boost your immune system as well, which is pretty cool. All right, that's it uh, for now, uh, and uh, just wanted to share this with you. Dr. Lee, out.